Okay, in today's video, we are going to do a problem involving potential difference, and we, in this problem, are going to calculate the separation between plates, okay, between these charge parallel plates, and we're going to figure out the distance, the separation of those plates, and this is the problem that we're going to do. We have parallel plates, and those parallel plates are connected to a 15-volt battery. That tells us that the potential difference between these two plates is 15 volts. We have one plate at plus 15. We have another plate at a lower potential, another negative plate at zero potential, zero volts. The potential at this plate is zero volts. And we're told that there is an electric field between the plates. That's 1,200 newtons per coulomb. Now, you should remember for the electric field between charged parallel plates, there's a uniform electric field. And it says, we want to know how far apart these plates are, the distance between these plates. Now, you should remember, if you look on your AP Physics, if you're taking AP Physics on your AP Physics equation sheet, you will see this equation, which we talked about earlier, that we can use for parallel plates because we have a uniform electric field that the electric field strength is equal to the potential difference between those plates and divided by the separation of those plates. Now, the separation delta R is simply the distance between the plates. But on the new AP Physics equation sheet, it says delta R. On the old AP Physics equation sheet, it says just simply D. So we want to solve for D. We can use this equation because we have parallel plates and we have a uniform field. We cannot use this equation for point charges. So we simply want to know what is the separation between those plates. We're given the potential difference. We're given the electric field. So we're just going to rearrange this equation. The separation between the plates is equal to the potential difference between the plates divided by the electric field. And that means that the separation is equal to 15 volts divided by 1,200 newtons per coulomb. And you come up with the distance between the plates is 0 0.0125 meters. Remember, uh, <clears throat> a volt okay, is a joule per coulomb, all right? and that is newton meter per coulomb. So this Newton will cancel with this Newton from Newton meters per coulomb. And the, the coulomb down here will also uh, cancel with the coulomb from joules per coulomb. You're just left with meters. Okay, it's a good idea to have an idea about how those units work. All right, but if you divide volts by Newtons per coulomb, you're left with meters. So the separation between those is that many meters, which we can convert that into millimeters. It makes a little more sense, maybe just visually is 12.5 millimeters, okay? So that is how we can use that equation for a simple problem to calculate the separation between plates when we have parallel charge plates and therefore a uniform electric field between them, okay? So keep that equation in mind. Keep that in mind that you can use that for a uniform field separated uh, charge parallel plates. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful in straightening some stuff out with um, potential difference. If you found that helpful, give me a thumbs up. And of course, give me a comment either way, yes or no, that wasn't helpful. That was not helpful. I'm always interested in what you think. And we'll see you in the next video.